Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. Youth football is like the bottom of the ocean, filled with so much mystique and wonder that nobody really knows anything about. I mean, who sits down on a Thursday night to watch children compete on a football pitch other than their parents and local priests? Let's take a look at every Premier League club's most unusual lad stuffed in the academy. But I must stress, unusual doesn't mean bad. Let's just say quirky, which is probably the only word written on Zoe Deschanel's resume. Arsenal, Carl Jacob Hine. How many children find themselves in a position where they can actually turn down Man United? Christ peak Alan Shearer did that and it was the toughest decision of his life. I'm convinced this Estonian goalkeeper only joined Arsenal instead of them because Mark Poom is some sort of national icon in that country. He said he joined Arsenal because they were more organised. Really? Arsenal? Organised? They have a cattle of angry carpenters congregating like something out of The Walking Dead after every bastard game. Aston Villa Louis Barry. Louis Barry is 16 years of age and has already played for Barcelona. What? That is the pinnacle of every footballer's career. This is what they all work for. Like for Luis Suarez. Did he love Ajax and Liverpool? Not a chance. Stepping stones. But Barry, he's, he's already done it. He spent a year in their academy last year and he's just done. Back in England with Aston Villa. How's this kid just complete a football? What's even more mental? He was born in June 2003. He won't even remember watching Ronaldinho play. Unless it's a fat Ronaldinho in Brazil, but no one wants to see that. He won't even know who Patrick Clivert was. When Neymar ended up at the new Camp, this kid was just nine years old. He's supposed to be one hell of a talent and it's probably going to be great, but he's already completed every footballer's dream and he's 16. It must be surreal. Oh, by the way, that's, uh, something weird has happened. This channel is up for an award. Apparently nominated for best in video at the Football Content Awards. Lads, I don't expect to win this. But I've had a thought. If everyone watches this video does vote, could be in with a chance. Christ, the day someone gets an award for ranting about Paul McShane. <laughs> oh, lads, if you want to vote, go ahead and click the, click the link in the description below. Uh, Bournemouth, Brooklyn, Genesini. Everyone has that stereotype of a footballer in their head. Christ, Patrick Bamford plays violin, and people look at him as if he has three heads. Rob Green used to read a book on England, Judy. I know, a book. Well, lads, make way for Brooklyn, Genesini. The game is not ready. A teenage fullback who once recovered from a goalpost landing on his head. He, uh, he could have been a ballroom dancer. He finished second in the country at the Ballroom Olympics, or whatever it's called. Lads, in a world of young footballers whose hobbies consist of nothing more than FIFA and knocking one out in the shower, this fella is a refreshing change of pace. Ballroom dancer, Christ above. Brighton Andrew Crofts. Andrew Crofts is 36. What is he doing in the youth team? Burnley Kai Calderbank Park. Burnley have an interesting youth setup. One of their goalies is called Kai Calderbank Park. That doesn't sound like a goalkeeper. It sounds like something you'd find on Google Maps. By all accounts, he sounds like a good shot stopper. He was recently called up by Australia, so go on, Kai. You have a fan on this channel. Oh, Irish guy, is this what you're doing? Bullying kids on the internet? Well, it was good enough for Will and E. Chelsea Lewis Baker. This isn't unusual. It's just sad. The fact that Lewis Baker is 25 years old and trapped in the Chelsea youth team, even with this transfer ban, the lad's potential and promise is scrunched up in a ball and left to rot under the kitchen sink. This guy has been at Stamford Bridge since 2005. Baker, how are you still putting up with this? It's been 15 years. Take the hint, it's not going to happen. The club's hierarchy have loaned you out seven bastard times and you still persist hanging around just to get a look in. It's like Charlie and the waitress. Do you want to spend your career living out of a suitcase and returning every two years to play under 23? For your own sake, lad, please just leave. Crystal Palace, Tyrek Mitchell. Apparently, Crystal Palace are sitting on another £50 million fullback. According to most Crystal Palace fans on the internet, this guy has the potential to be better than Aaron Wambazaka. And yes, I know he's a left back. Watch this space. Everton Mackenzie Hunt. Most footballers begin their careers stuck in muddy parks and end it soaking up the cash in Dubai. Yo, Mackenzie Hunt is doing it in reverse. See this face? Great. He's the next Gaza, a future number 10 in England midfield. Bit weird tipping lads for World Cups when they were born after Monsters Inc. But this fella, he moved from Dubai to Liverpool. This country is like a prince's wet dream, where people vomit Porsches and drink gold. Even their public toilets probably look like the inside of Justin Bieber's house. Fair play to this fella for being able to tear himself out of this glamorously wealthy city to move with his mother to the northwest of England to pursue his dream. Big sacrifice, but hey, I'm sure it'll pay off. Future England International. Please don't blame me if he ends up working down the pub. Lester Feig Bolkia. Let's stay on the subject of rich countries. It's not often an academy footballer not only plays for a senior national football team, but actually captains it too. Feig Bolkia. 
without a single first team game to his name at 22 years of age is somehow allowed to captain Brunei. Christ, if the World Cup qualification comes to my country or a pin on some unknown academy rookie, I'd probably chew off my own nose. But we're not done there, lads. No, Bokeh is one of the richest footballers on planet Earth. He's the son of the Sultan of Brunei, who is worth $16 billion. You know, fair play to him. This guy was born with money coming out of his ears. How easy would it have been just to turn into the next Callum Best? You know, just sitting in his mansion, swimming in a bath of money and models, resurfacing every three years to go on some brain dead reality show. But no, this guy's career was following the exact same progression as Theo Walcott. From AFC Newbury to Southampton to Arsenal, and then Chelsea, and, and now Leicester. That is quite the CV. Maybe these clubs are only signing him because they're terrified that his dad would have their chief executives murdered on the spot. Or more realistic, he's actually a pretty talented kid trying to carve his own way in life rather than just becoming the next Brooklyn Beckham. 12 million Instagram followers for doing f**k all in life other than fall out of a Spice Girls womb. Liverpool Lewis Longstaff. Is Longstaff a popular name lads? Is it? Because I'll be honest, I never heard that word until 2016. Before that I'd assumed it was just a buzzword used on German adult websites. Now English football is flooded with them. It's the era of the Longstaff. Lewis Longstaff, a Liverpool midfielder poached from Newcastle's academy. Maddie Sean and Lewis Longstaff growing up together in the same Newcastle Academy. And apparently no relation? What do you mean no relation? Of course they are! How many bastard Longstaffs do you think exist in the world? You just know, sometime back in the 1850s, the only Longstaff in the world must have swanned around, spreading a seed across the Northeast, using the 18th century version of Tinder. He probably had women all over the Northeast sending him photos of their ankles. Man City, Demarjo Wright Phillips. With Man City, Christ, where do you start? No doubt they have the finest collection of youngsters in the country, which I'm aware is a sentence that will probably boost my analytics in the Vatican. But I have a few questions. Questions. Like why mix Discursud, a Norwegian USA midfielder stuck in the under 23 academy team? Why is he 29 years of age? He's literally spending his peak years playing against a bunch of teenagers. He just looks a bit out of place. It's like if Simon Cowell had put Wagner in one direction. The presence of a 29 year old in City's underage team. It's like when Mr. DT turned up the KSI Joella press conference. Why is there a 40 year old Arsenal fan stuck in the corner? This guy was making his debut for the USA men's team in 2010. Back when half his teammates were learning how to walk. It's a bit like that overproductive mother who leaves her 12 year old at the f***ing crash? How out of touch must he be with his fellow teammates? He's the only one old enough to think the concept of TikTok is just a Kesha song. Another one that tickles my wizard stick pink, Christ that sounds weird, is the existence of Demarjo Wright Phillips. Who's this? Another one of Ian Wright's offspring? No, it's his grandson. This guy is the son of Sean. On what planet is Sean Wright Phillips old enough to have an 18 year old son? When did he lose his virginity? Age 11? He's not even from Blackpool. God, I feel so old and in the way. Man United Harvey Neville. I hope Deshaun Bernard gets another chance in the Man United first team. Because if he leaves the club with his only appearance being an own goal in a 2-1 Europa League embarrassment against a bunch of Kazakhstan part-time school teachers, this is your one big moment and that's all you're remembered for? It'd be like, instead of smashing Glastonbury, this kid had just puked blood all over the mic. You'd probably be able to pinpoint the exact moment his social life died. But no, he did well, became mates with Joe Weller and brought out his own single. Just, uh, just ignore the like ratio. There's also a young English midfielder coming through whose first name is Zidane. So clearly his parents picked his choice of career within 20 minutes of birth. If you name your kid Zidane, I don't think he's destined for a job down the local post office. United also have a young Charlie Savage on their books. I can only assume he was conceived in a petri dish because his dad doesn't look capable of making love to anyone but himself. But now I'm going for Harvey Neville. Your dad played 59 times for England and currently manages the national women's team. Your uncle played 85 times, including at three World Cups. And you're currently in the under 19 Republic of Ireland squad. Cool. Why am I zooming in on a child? Sure, play for the under 19s. Kiss the badge. But when you have this on your Instagram when you play for Ireland, it's like getting married despite your Facebook cover photo featuring your ex. I'm sorry, Harvey, but... I've been hurt before. Newcastle Yannick Torre. I'm confused about the hype over Yannick Torre. Yannick Torre has got to be some player. New Drogba. To be fair, this guy was ahead of the marketing game. He has a YouTube channel. 182 subscribers. And back in 2016, advertised himself as this. Yannick Torre, the next big one full HD. The next big one. Okay. All right, first of all, that is not HD. Second of all, Torre's Pictures Presents. You can't just invent film studios. My grandmother could have scored that and she's been dead since 1987. Is this actually how Newcastle signed him? I mean, it wouldn't be the first time they scouted someone off YouTube. Narch, William Hundermark. Narch City of three promising youth players who've caught my eye. William Hundermark, Andrew Amambambandeli, and Josh Gorgu. Any idea what country they're from? <laughs> 
Hondermark was born in France but moved to Dublin when he was five and carved out a few years at Drogheda United. Andrew Omabadibdaily is a teenage defender who made the move from Lex Leap and who hopes to emulate Virgil van Dijk, while Josh Gurku is a 17 year old forward born to Romanian parents. Factor in Adam Ida and Simon Power. Lads, I didn't realise this. Norwich City have half my country's future prospects at their disposal. Long live Norwich City! Sheffield United, Tashay Andal Gibbons. There's a few names to catch the eye at Bramall Lane. Leo Gaksha is another Irish underage international. Angelo Capello could become the first Premier League representative from Belize, while Connor Bleak Blunt is a hilariously unfortunate name. Tashai Andal Gibbons is interesting because he comes from the Rising Ballers Academy, an online, yes, online youth academy for unsigned London footballers. This guy is from the hood. Christ, I can't pull that off, can I? This guy is from a socially and economically deprived suburb of North London. That's better. And yeah, it was basically discovered on YouTube. Discovered on YouTube, eh? Play the clip. Southampton Marcus Barnes. Okay, Southampton's Academy of a Hall of Fame to die for. So this must be good. Let's see who do we have. Marcus Barnes, brother of former Derby County wonder kid Giles Barnes. Tottenham Richo Pochettino. Spurs have a teenage defender Max Tanio at their academy. A guy whose dad was sold by them back in 2008. Bit weird. Alongside him in the dressing room was Richo Pochettino. Guess who his dad is? He's probably a decent ball playing midfielder. Well, good luck breaking into the first team when Jose Mourinho is your boss. Half the Spurs fan base are still pining for this guy's dad. This guy is literally the human daily reminder of Mourinho's predecessor. Brian Clough famously banned his players from even mentioning Don Revy at Leeds. How do you think Jose is going to like Pochettino's son staring at him in the face? They also have a Scottish midfielder called Phoenix Patterson. Phoenix. Patterson. I don't know if this guy's parents were bird enthusiasts or just like the film Stand By Me. Well, Christ, what a bizarre name for a human being. Watford, Sonny Blulow Everton. Step four, Scottish underage international, Sonny Blulow Everton. What with him and Phoenix Patterson, Christ, Scottish parents are getting creative. Watford have a history of producing excellent talents. So there's every chance he'll be a top player. Well, I'm sorry, what is that name? West Ham, Connor Coventry. Connor Coventry is a 20 year old up and coming midfielder. Born in London, plays for West Ham, and Ireland under 21 international. Does anyone see any similarities here? Lads, his name is literally Connor Coventry. He's gonna play for England, isn't he? Wolves, Leonardo Campana. Leonardo Campana is a 19-year-old Ecuadorian international striker who is the son of a former professional tennis player who represented Ecuador at the 1996 Olympics and is now Minister for Commerce in his homeland. His granddad was the president of Barcelona Sporting Club for 15 years. The stadium was named after him. And his great-grandfather won six Ecuadorian league winners medals in the 1920s. So can you imagine, with this guy's family tree being coded in sport and success. Can you imagine if you just ended up becoming an accountant? Anyway, that's it. If you like, what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll talk to you in a while.